All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, as we often do following major banner releases, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick update on the top grossing situation for the global side of the game to give you guys an idea of approximately how many regions have already reached number one overall top grossing up to this point, and uh, more importantly, how many free-to-play Dragon Stones we can expect to get over the course of the next few days, which I'm sure is the main reason most of you guys clicked on this video, right? So um, right now it's about 12 p.m., about noontime for me, which is roughly nine hours since the banners dropped, right? And we have already seen so many regions reach top grossing, at least in their respective iOS stores, right? And I think it was actually I think it's even faster than the anniversary was. Like for some reason, it seems like these download celebrations or you know now it's called worldwide campaign, uh, generate even more hype than the anniversaries. And I think the main reason for that is because for anniversaries, global players already know what's coming, right? So that by the time that we actually get the units, get the dual Dokkan fest, um, it's the, the hype's died down a little bit. I mean, to be fair, we still hit top grossing, I think in over, 10 regions eventually for the anniversary, but I, I suspect that once it's all said and done, uh, we're gonna have even more regions at number one for this, you know, download celebration or worldwide campaign um, compared to the, you know, anniversary, right? So anyways, let's jump into it. Let's uh, do a breakdown of all the regions that I was able to find that are currently either at number one or are gonna be very, or are very close and are probably gonna reach number one at some point today okay so let's start here with all reliable you know the region that we can pretty much just put down every single celebration to be at number one we got france and of course we're filtered by august 29th which is today all categories that's important some people um will be filtering by like games for some regions and they're like oh we're at number one but if it's not all categories and uh it's just like games but then like they're not actually at number one in all categories then it doesn't really count. Okay, so it's got to be all categories and uh, iPhone or iOS. And as you can see, France is at number one. Who is surprised? Nobody. Okay, so that's one right there. All right, one out of many. Number two, let's move on to the next region, which is actually Canada. Okay, so France is not a surprise, right? Nobody thought that France wasn't going to reach top grossing, but Canada almost never hits top grossing man i live in canada for any of you that don't know and uh you know i check every single time every single time we have a big banner i always check to just see you know how my region is doing and it's so rare for us to ever hit top grossing but we did it guys i mean actually last time i think for the anniversary we actually hit top grossing in the google play store which is interesting because Google Play is like very, very hard to hit top grossing in for some reason, and very few regions ever, you know, get number one there, right? But for some reason, for Canada, we hit it for the uh, Google Play Store. But this time around, on the first day, all right, Canada is at number one in the iOS store. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of that. I did contribute quite a bit to it. If you guys are curious, I, many hundreds, I don't wanna say how much, but many right so i feel like i have a good part to play in this but uh yo shout out to all my canadians out there there's quite a few actually on the channel that uh are you know either around my area or just in canada somewhere so shout out to all of you and that's number two guys okay number three we have the usa okay so that's the third, third region us actually has been uh, hitting top grossing pretty consistently for the last couple of celebrations so not a huge surprise there either and then we have Luxembourg at number four, or no, no, at number one, but number four on the list. All right, that's four. Coin Master, for some reason, always up there. And Tinder, too. But what, what happened to Tinder? Why is it only one star or one rating with one star? Did somebody hack it or something? Hold up. Uh, interesting. Oh, it seems like Tinder was just like re added to the store for some reason. Anyways, doesn't matter. Let's move on. So that's four, right? And then uh, we have Spain, number five, at top grossing. And of course, Coin Master is there too. And then Germany at number six, another top grossing, right? Number one overall. Uh, Austria, number seven, all right? And then we have Hong Kong at eight. And Luxembourg, wait. Uh, I, might have, I might have put Luxembourg twice. 
That's my bad. Okay, so still not, still eight in total right now. Belgium, top grossing. This confused me quite a bit, but I think people are telling me that um, they're, they're like using VPNs or something. Because because as far as I was, I was aware, Belgium doesn't allow in-app purchases anymore, right? Like it was last year or two years ago where they banned you know loot box style purchases or in-app in-app purchases like completely, right? But I think it's because people are using VPNs and making purchases, but. I could be wrong. Anyways, that's nine now, I think. My counting could be kind of off because I'm getting a little bit confused, but I think it's nine now. And then we have Switzerland, which is also at top grossing, and that's the 10th region that has hit top grossing already within like nine, 10 hours of the banners dropping. And then we have Portugal, which is very close, all right? They jumped 110 spots to number two, and I think they have a good chance of overtaking Coinmaster. I mean, it's, it's tough, right? Like, they're always up there, but I'm pretty sure, considering they've jumped 110 spots, they're gonna make that leap at some point today to be number one. So that would be 11. And uh, the Netherlands are pretty close, too, at uh, number three. Trying to beat out Pokemon Go, trying to beat out Tinder, but I have faith in them. Okay, so... Uh, and Slovenia, too, actually. Yeah, Slovenia jumped 913 spots. 913! Is that an error? There's no way. 913 placements to number three. Damn. Yeah, so they have a chance too, man. I, I'm, I'm feeling good, pretty good about this one. Uh, obviously, I have no guarantees, but uh, yeah, I, I think they can do it. And let me see if there's anything else. Uh, no, oh, oh, okay. So I also put this. So, yeah, so far, guys, so far we have 10 regions that are confirmed at number one, right? They've already reached the Holy Land. They're already there. We're gonna get stones most likely for them, unless some of them drop, but um, I'm, I have a feeling that like most of them will stay there for the rest of the day and that we will, you know, get those counted as top grossing regions. And uh, if we look at last year's top grossing rewards, um, we got, I think, 130 in total, but it was actually no, 150 for part one. Yeah, 150 in total, but it was split between four different top grossing or like thank you rewards and the first top grossing we got for well, like when the banners first came out was only 50 stones right but it was only for hitting top grossing in seven regions we hit it in in 10 already and uh, there could be more like i said man there, there's a couple that are like very close so it could be 11 12 13 something like that and i feel like this year they might just straight up give us 100 for the first top grossing um or they could do it, do it like, you know, how they did it last year, where it's 50 for the first top grossing, and then 50 more for the second, and then we have 30 more for a thank you, and 20 more for another thank you. So, I don't know, they, they, they could be doing different splits this year, they could be doing like 100 first, and then just like 30 later on for like the thank you, or they could do 50 and 50, and then another 50 for like, you know, once the Dual Dokkan Fest ends, or something like that. But, uh, I'm gonna say, right now, just to be safe, to... You know, keep expectations fairly under control. We're either gonna get between, or we're either gonna get basically 50 dragon stones or 100 dragon stones for this first top grossing, and uh, you know, expect to get more later on once other regions hit top grossing, or uh, definitely you know another like thank you reward like this with 30 stones, 30 to 50 stones, and some orbs and uh, some other good stuff. Okay, so either way, guys, a lot of stones on the way. I would say 50 is the minimum, 100 is the maximum, but I'm feeling 100. I'm feeling 100. As far as when we'll get it, um, you know, usually it takes them a couple days to, I don't know, just make sure or to, to calculate or whatever they, they say is the reason, but it typically takes a couple days for us to get our top grossing rewards. So I would say, what, right now it's, uh, it's Saturday. So maybe by Monday we'll get them. Right, because I don't think they generally give top grossing rewards on the weekend, but I think either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest, we'll get those top grossing rewards. Hopefully sooner than later, but obviously, um, I can't you know guarantee that, right? But we will get them. What I can't guarantee is we are getting top grossing stones. That's for sure. So like I said, 50 at the minimum, 100 at the most. If it's 50, then we're most likely going to get at least another 50 for a second top grossing, and. Uh, yeah, guys, it's it's gonna be great because I need those stones. I'm sure a lot of you guys need those stones as well. And uh, on top of that, we're still waiting on our Dokkan Now stones because they did say right there was that campaign on the Dokkan Now program program where uh, if we got like 3,000 retweets or whatever, 
we would get 60 stones and we definitely hit it within like the first five minutes so yeah we should be getting 60 stones in our boxes sometime within the next um i think it said 24 hours after the program ends the program ended about like 12 hours ago so sometime within the next 12 hours from the time this video drops we should be getting those stones i'm gonna say probably at like 8 p.m pacific or uh, eastern time usually like when the changeover happens like the news updates and stuff like that uh we should expect them but maybe a little bit later maybe at like the other reset time um for the joint campaign which is i think like 1 a.m or something like that eastern time but it should be soon it should be soon that's the point i'm trying to make okay so uh that's it guys i've been talking for too long this video went on for way longer than i thought it would uh would go so that's my bad but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully uh you learned something by by watching it and uh you know look forward to the top grossing rewards all right now there there's a chance that i missed a few regions here and there but i did try to do the best reach research i could do and these were the ones that i found that were either already at number one or very close okay so uh there you go guys there you go that is the top grossing update at least for part one of the download celebration uh thank you for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it Hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.